Where is the last time for Dhuhr? Is it the Adhan of Asr? The answer is to the majority of scholars, yes. Not to the Hanafi school, because the Hanafi school of thought, they delay Asr very long. So the Sunnah is when you have an erected object, this is an erected object, the shade of it is the same length, then this is the time of Asr. In the uh, Hanafi madhab, they say that it has to be twice as long, which means about 40 minutes or more difference. And this is totally wrong. And if a person prays his dhuhr at before that time of Asr in, in, in Hanafi school, he is praying it outside of its time and it would not be accept, uh, accepted from him. As for Asr end of time, there is a chosen time and there is a time of necessity. The chosen time is when the sun is still bright. Once the light fades and you can look at it, which is approximately 40 to, uh, minutes to an hour before sunset, then this is not recommended for you to delay it to this time. Yet you can still pray it until just before the sunset. Once the sun sets, khalas, Asr is no more. And Asr extends to the time, uh, and Maghrib extends to the time of Isha, which is marked by the redness in the west. When the sun had set, there is redness in the horizon, in the zenith. Once this redness is gone, this means that the Maghrib time is over and Isha time is on. And Isha time extends until the middle of the night. After that, it's over. And Fajr time extends until the sun begins to, ri uh, to rise, not the full rising of the sun. No, as soon as the tip of the sun appears, khalas, Fajr time is over. And Allah Azza wa knows better.